It's that time again, Nick. Do you know what time it is? What time is it? The season that I look forward to all year long. Oh, you're talking about autumn, right? Well, you may call it autumn. I call it McRib season. The cold opening was a bit misleading. Technically, it's not a McRib, but it is a, a derivative of the same sandwich, which is the Weigel's Riblet Sandwich. Listen, I generally detest McDonald's, can't stand them. Uh, there is, however, one thing that McDonald's does that I look forward to every year. I can't get enough of those McRibs. I don't know why. I don't know why. Because you're awful. So we pop on down to the Weigels again, uh, and what do they have but riblet sandwiches, just little bite-sized riblet sandwiches for $1.50. How can you go wrong? The, these are like the GoBots to the McDonald's McRibs <laughs> Transformers. <laughs> So there it is, nice and flat. You could take that on the Frisbee golf course and get a hole in one. Uh, it's, it, it's hanging out the bun like a tour. I like how animal. even though it's so tiny, they try to give the illusion that it's big by hanging the meat over the tiny bun. Yeah. This is elementary school cafeteria food. I can already look at it and tell that this is like lunch cafeteria school food caliber, public school food caliber. They did spring for the fake bone divots That's in, the, in the riblet. That always adds the illusion of, uh, of authenticity t to the rib. I generally avoid these sort of sandwiches, McRib or any derivative of it, mainly because there's always a bone fragment somewhere in there and you're yeah. going to break a tooth. This is a very um, mushy. It's uh, it's many things. It's, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's mushy, it's flat, Fragrant. I would wager that this beef patty or this pork patty started its life as a paste slurry. Let's go ahead and delve into here. Yeah. Cheers. Yep. Gas station garbage. Uh, the riblet sandwich from Weigel's. Let's go. Let me just say this. Okay. If I swear to God, if I bite into a bone fragment, this is getting zero Gordon Ramsay's. <laughs> bone watch is, is yeah, in effect. Bone watch is on. All right. One, yeah. two, Hashtag three, go. Hashtag bone, Hashtag bone watch. Mmm. Nice and cold. It is not hot. So this is a very marbled riblet fillet. <laughs> there's, I had like a crunch of an onion or something in Yeah, mine. there's something in is there veggies of, in it? That's just fat, I think. A fat bit. A fat. Maybe fat bat. Fat gristle. Oh. Wait. Did you get a bone? Come on. Get out of here. No way! <laughs> Called it. Oh my god. Called it. Sons of bitches. <laughs> now I'm all nervous. You should be. It's like walking across a minefield. Sons of bitches. You just gotta devour it like, a, like to, a rabid animal. You have to eat with your emotions, uh -huh. not your mind, when you're going when you're going on a riblet sandwich. That's dangerous shit. Mm. That's dangerous you can, stuff. You could break yeah. You could break a tooth. Yeah, I mean, that's that, if you don't have health insurance, you know, maybe you don't have health insurance, maybe your job's not covering your health insurance, so you're on a bit of a tight budget. These are only a buck fifty. You take them home to your family, all of your family members break a tooth. <laughs> How much does that cost out of pocket to go to the dentist and get a tooth repair? I don't know why I'm still eating it, but I am the taste. Yeah, no, the it's taste good. It tastes okay. all right. It's a shame it's getting zero Gordon Ramsay's because the taste is okay. Well, you know, I, I know you're finishing up your last couple of bites. I think that it's a testament to the flavor that you haven't quit eating, so that's a that's got to say something for it. But uh, here at Gas Station Garbage, here at Gas Station Garbage, we review everything that we eat on our patented and super scientific scale of one to ten Gordon Ramsays. With that said, Nick, where do we stand? on the Weigel's Riblet Sandwich with Bone Fragment. You know, maybe there's some sort of genetic Mendelian trait that governs whether or not you're gonna bite into one of these bones and you just don't have it. I'm shocked that you've never bit into a bone fragment because I feel like I'm every single McRib or McRib derivative that I bite into has a bone fragment. I have gotten a bone in a McRib before. So I get a bone in a McRib and I say, well, that's the last damn McRib I ever eat. And then next year comes and they put that damn commercial on where they're dipping that dry riblet in all the sauce and throwing the pickles on it. And I'm like, surely you won't get two bones two years in yeah, a row. They don't advertise the bones either, so you uh, don't know if it's going to show up or not. Right. Well, obviously this grade, the official grade for me is zero. Goose egg. That's a first. Yeah. 
I can't be having bones in my in my uh, press meat. Listen, foods. no, no argument. Yeah, that's dangerous. It's a hazard. I kind of like you could poop that out and injure yourself if you're not that careful. That could perforate an intestine. Yeah, and then you go septic and you're dead. These are a hazard. These are a medical hazard, which is why I'm still eating it. Had there not been a bone fragment, probably would have given this like three Gordon Ramsays. The taste is good, but it doesn't taste like real meat. It was a little cold. It was so-so, and I certainly don't think would purchase this again. And with the with the, the inclusion of the bone complimentary, I'm absolutely not going to buy one of these again, nor should you. The flavor was good. The price point was really good. A buck fifty for a little sandwich, even though it is small, is still okay. Um, you know what really would have made it would be like some crunchy vegetables, some pickles or some lettuce or some mustard or something. Onions. Onions. Some onions and pickles, like the, the, yeah. like the McRib proper. So with all that said, I think I'm actually going to go with a rating of five, five Gordon Ramsay's. You know, it was edible, it was cheap, the flavor was good. I didn't get a bone, so that's not a concern for me. Um, but again, might be something that you need to take into consideration when you're eating. If you have a fresh filling or cap on your tooth uh, or sensitive chalk baby teeth, uh, don't... No, no dental insurance? Don't, yeah, or no dental insurance. Don't probably want to steer clear. We're good to go here, folks. We've uh, devoured our riblet sandwiches. We've avoided any dental mishaps. And uh, I'm gonna have to go drink some water so my fingers don't swell up from the sodium we just ingested. Yeah, I'm interested to see what this does to our body later on. I'm, I'm pretty sodium sensitive. If you like this video, um, you know, give it a thumbs up down there, wherever it is. Uh, hit that subscribe button for more. Already it's in the chest. Yeah, you're not joking. <clears throat> you can always catch us on facebook.com forward slash gas station garbage or youtube.com forward slash gas station garbage. In the comments below, let us know where you want us to go. The best items that we've tried have been at your suggestion. So we always welcome your feedback. Um, let us know. We'll, we'll head there. No, no food is too scary for us. For Adam Nick, again, Lizzie and Spirit, we're going to call this one Checked Off the Books. We'll see you guys next week.